Goodwood Cartways plays a historic part in Canadian karting. The simple fact that the track has been here for 56 years, um, to be honest, it's the longest standing kart track in all of Canada. There's a saying around the paddock that if you can win at Goodwood, you can win anywhere. And that's just because the track is so technically demanding. It develops drivers when they're young, teaches them you know, how to brake, passing zones, um, you know, how to set up the kart. Everything is very crucial at this track. The track has just been repaved this year, but even prior to that, it was a, a great place to learn how to drive. Drivers such as James Hinchcliffe, who won the IndyCar race in Brazil this past weekend, he started out here. Scott Goodyear, Paul Tracy, Mark Wilkins, they all got their start here and uh, they've done very well in racing. We used to come out here with Paul Tracy many years ago when we were doing the shifter and I think he was just getting into his uh, IndyCar stuff. There's a lot of different uh, apexes, you know, every corner isn't the same. You got to be on your toes all the time. Thanks to the sponsorship from Sofina Foods, we were able to repave our track and we're really excited to host the Canadian Championships again. The Delios have done a great job at uh, maintaining the track and uh, there's a lot more grip. It's very smooth. It's, it's like driving on a brand new racetrack. Turn one at Goodwood isn't so simple. You gotta have a precise entry into the corner, carrying a lot of speed, using the brakes to point the cart down to the curb touch the curb and power out as fast as you can using the outside curbing only as a plan B. Uh, you head into turns two and three, it's flat out. It's definitely a tricky corner to go flat out. You know, the cart needs to be perfect. You gotta be confident with the cart underneath you. Uh, carry as much speed as you can into turn four. You wanna brake as hard as you can into turn four, touch the apex, get back to power and get a good run into turn five. This is the corner that the top runners excel at. Uh, you gotta find that brake zone, be consistent, be confident. Uh, power through the apex and get a good exit heading into turn six. Turn six, fairly simple. Off the brakes, onto the gas, using all the road on the exit. And turn seven on the entry, you want to use all the road. Turn at the crest of the hill, turn down onto turn seven, get back to power as soon as you can, controlling wheel spin. Around turn eight, setting yourself up down the hill to turn nine, hard on the brakes, brake onto the apex, get back to power and set yourself up for the biggest straightaway on the track. I'd have to say my favorite part is turn one. You're going into turn one, full speed, you know, and that turn can make or break a lap time. Coming down that, I'll call it that short shoot into four, you're flying down there. For some reason on this track, it's always been my favorite corner. It's just the feeling of exhilaration as you come into the turn, you're at top speed, and then you're waiting, waiting, waiting to break at the right point, trying to get the right line to maximize your speed through the corner. I find that very exciting. The facility is constantly developing and improving. Uh, in 2012, we we're very happy to resurface the entire racing surface. This is something that's going to be a new chapter in the history book of Goodwood Cartways. Uh, a few years prior to that, a state-of-the-art safety barrier system was installed. Uh, these are things that we're passionate about, trying to develop our facility um, with safety at the forefront of all of our decisions and trying to come up with a facility that's second to none in Canada.